Love. love is patient, love is kind, love is not baseful, love does not envy, love is not puffed up, love does not parade in bullshit itself. Love never fails. Love endures all things. Love never fails. That's a God be served. He's a God of love. You know, we're created in the image of God, and we're going to go back to Him. But God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we're a free part being, spirit, soul, and body, created in the image of God with a purpose and plan in mind. But what I love about Him is He gives us a free will. He's not a God of control, he's a God of love that's given his creation a free will to choose to follow him, get to know him, or reject him. For 30 years of my life, I rejected him. My name's Colstone, I live in Hartcliffe, grew up in a council estate here in Bristol, and I was struggling. Inside, there was an empty void in my heart, something was missing. Battling with rejection. So I got caught up in alcohol and drug addiction. Lots of cocaine, ecstasy. Could not leave it alone. Destroying my life and all those around me. The drugs became my idol because I needed that. I wanted to get lost in the drugs and forget reality. Yeah, we've got our own way of escaping things, haven't we? The brokenness inside the heart needs to be healed. There's only one person that can heal the broken heart. His name's Jesus. He healed my broken heart. Jesus came to heal the broken heart. He came to die for us. So we won't be left as orphans. Thirteen years I was struggling. Alcohol addiction. Drug addiction. It's this empty void in my heart and I was trying to fill it with that and it didn't satisfy. I kept going back to it. It got to a point where I was abusing the drink and the drugs. It got to a point where I sheared all my stomach lining at the age of 29. Well, 24 this happened. 
my stomach lining was red raw. I literally had no stomach lining and I wanted to kill myself because I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain, I wanted to kill myself. And the doctors were saying, you ain't going to make it past 30 if you carry on. And they would give me tablets to try and heal my stomach, but I wouldn't take them. I'd just be more drinking drugs. I guess I was broken, hurt, and I just escaped reality in the drinking the drugs, but that didn't work. I kept going back to it. But God says, if you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be delivered. If you will repent and be baptized into the name of Jesus, you will receive remission of sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. The cross is the greatest act of love. We're sinners saved by grace. Take a look at the whole world. We need a saviour. Jesus is the great shepherd and overseer of our souls. So nine years ago, after all the drink and the drug abuse and the mental illness and just wanted to end my life, I cried out to the Lord in my bedroom. I said, Jesus, help. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you came for me and help. Help me. And in that moment for me, everything changed. After crying out to the Lord in my bedroom in repentance, I dropped to my knees on the floor and I started to cry like a baby and I couldn't stop. But I felt like weight was being lifted off my shoulders. I felt a peace and a joy that I've never, ever, ever in my life experienced. It's the Lord, His Spirit, Holy Spirit. And He came and did the very thing I couldn't do on my own. He delivered me from a lifestyle of drug and drink abuse. I know he was clean because of Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. He gave us ten commandments, the Lord. We break them every day, right? One of the commandments, he says, don't use the name of the Lord in vain. We use Jesus' name as a swear word. We don't swear in the name of Buddha, Yoga, Allah, who is Jesus, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. There's no way back to the Father except through the Son. And I've experienced Him and His love, and I'm nine years clean from the drink and the alcohol now because of Jesus. So there is a love. There's a love like no other, a heavenly love. This love is unconditional. And I know there's many struggling with depression, anxiety, suicide thoughts. You want to end your life. I did too. I was struggling with depression for two years. I was, I was on the verge of writing suicide, mate. But God came and intervened. When you know love and that love fills your broken heart, you can give that love to others. And the problem is with many in this world is we're broken hearted and that hurt and pain's coming out. But Jesus can bring healing to that. And then we stick together and we fight for one another and we love one another and we encourage one another and build each other up. Not gossip, talk about each other. There's no love in that. So I'm going to read you something called the love letter from the Father. And I hope it helps, because it does, and it did when I read it. These words are from the Bible. You're created in the image of God. You're created to know love and become love. You're created to walk with God. You're created with a purpose and plan in mind. And Jesus came to die for us. The sinners saved by grace. He shed his blood on the cross. He came to die for us on the cross. And on the third day, he rose again from the dead to leave us his Holy Spirit to help us. We need him.
They might come into the kingdom of heaven unless one is born again of water and spirit. This is a love letter from the Father. My dear child, I often think of you. You may not know me, but I know everything about you. I'm your Heavenly Father, and I love you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up, for you were made in my image and were created in the likeness of my face. Your birth was not a coincidence, because every single day of your life is written in my book. I rejoice over you every time I look upon you, because you are very precious to me. I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I am not distant nor hostile. I am love and it is my desire to lavish my love on you simply because you are my child and I am your father. I often, I offer you more than your earthly father ever could for I am the perfect father. You might have been feeling lonely in your life because your parents weren't there when you needed them. Forgive them and open up your heart to my love. For my love can fill the emptiness in your heart and heal all your wounds. I know your need for love and your desire for someone to care for you. I am the answer to this cry inside your heart. I can restore the fragments of your heart and make you whole again. I will do something very beautiful with your life if you let me. If you seek me with all of your heart, you'll find me. Only I, your Father, can make you truly happy. I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. When you are broken hearted, I am close to you. I cry with you when you are sad, as a good shepherd takes care of his wounded sheep. The same way I keep you close to my heart. One day I will wipe away every tear from your eyes. I love you even as I love my son Jesus. For in Jesus, my love for you is revealed. He is the exact representation of me and my goodness. He came to this world to demonstrate that I am for you and not against you, and tell you that I am not counting your mistakes. Bring to me all your mistakes and all the sin in your life, and I will forgive you, and I will give you new life. Jesus died on the cross so that you and I could be together again. Nothing can take you away from my love. Come back home and all the heaven will rejoice. I have always been your heavenly father and I always will be. My question for you is, do you want to come in? I am waiting for you, love, your heavenly father. I was broken hearted for 13 years. I chose the drink and the drugs, escape reality and fill that empty void in my heart. But it didn't work. I kept going back to it. Until nine years ago I cried out to the Lord Jesus in my bedroom. And he came and he filled that empty void in my heart. And he set me free. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can get to the Father except through the Son. He came to die for us. He shed his blood on the cross for us. And on the third day he rose again from the dead to give us eternal life. You see, there's a thief in this world. This thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That antichrist spirit, the devil. But Jesus came to destroy his works, and he did on the cross. So nine years ago, I cried out to the Lord in my bedroom, and he came, and he set me free. 
I'm nine years clean. No drink, no drugs. I'm nine years clean because of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there was a point in my life when I was struggling with depression. To the point where I was planning on writing a suicide note. I had depression and anxiety. The anxiety was so bad it felt like my bones were shaking. For two years. Sleepless nights. It got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to end it. But I had that very silly, don't do it. Your family is selfish. But I was planning on writing a suicide note. And I was in my bedroom and I just turned the TV on. And as I turned on the TV, it was God TV, it was his channel. And there's a woman preaching on the, on the TV saying, there's someone that wants to commit suicide, don't do it, God loves you. And in that moment, I just broke down crying. And I had an encounter with the Lord there and then. I just knew there is a God that cares, that loves us, and he wants to bring a healing to our broken hearts. He wants to give us the desire of our hearts. But we need to let him in. If you would delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. In the name of Jesus, there's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power to heal. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's freedom in the name of Jesus. Jesus came to die for you. For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. For we are sinners saved by grace. So repent and be baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I know of a friend, his name's Kai. He wouldn't mind me sharing this story. He had schizophrenia. He was hearing voices, messed up. He wanted to end his life. He was born partially deaf too. But he gave his heart to the Lord. He got baptized in a river in Arcliffe. He gave his heart to the Lord. And as he come up out of those waters, those voices, schizophrenia, left him. He got delivered from those demons. It's now a walking testimony to the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if there's any of you battling with depression, anxiety, you feel like giving up, don't, don't give up. Because there's someone who cares. His name is Jesus. There's someone that can heal the broken heart. His name is Jesus. He healed my broken heart. He set me free. He can do the same thing for you. Don't risk your eternity. Eternity is a long time. Jesus came to die for us on the cross to set us free. He's the only way back into, a, into the presence of God. God is holy, just and pure. Sin cannot have access into his presence. But Jesus, he, he shed his blood. He paved the way for us to have access into God's presence. We're here to know love and become love and give that love to others. Jesus came to heal the broken hearted. And Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He's got a plan for your life. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world at the moment. There is a God, a God that created you, a God that wants to have a relationship with you. And we're here today just to share the love of God, the love of Jesus. Two years ago, I was held in depression. I struggled in life. I used to drink too much. I used to be in a, a really bad way. And I got to a very low point in my life. And when in a dream, there was a man that visited me in a dream and he said, I am your Lord God, come to me, you wretched sinner. And as I moved towards him, I was filled with love and peace. 
And two days after I experienced, I gave my life to Jesus, and everything changed. See, it's not about church, it's not about religion, it's not about judging people. It's about opening your heart to Jesus. So if you're ever wondering if there's a God, if he exists, I just encourage you that when you're on your own, just to pray to the Lord Jesus, just to ask him to reveal himself to you, and he will. He'll change everything. Jesus came to the earth not to condemn the earth, but to give it salvation. The Bible tells us that we've all fallen short of the glory of God, every one of us has sinned. But if we confess our sins to Jesus, He is just and faithful to forgive us of all of our sins, to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. The very God that created you in the womb, the very God that gives you a spirit and soul in your body and breath in your lungs, but I just want to encourage you today that there is a God, a God that loves you, a God that's got a plan and purpose for your life. And his name is Jesus. And it says that if we confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and we believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For it's with our heart that we are justified. And it's with our mouth that we confess unto salvation.